For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For he that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. There are no good people in heaven. Good people fill hell. There are no religious people in heaven. You find religion in hell. There is none men's righteousness in heaven. There is no righteousness of men at all. There is none that doeth good. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And yet for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And when Jesus himself says he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me, the words of Jesus, you are not going to go to heaven by what you believe will get you to heaven. You will fall short. You will come upon a gap after death. You will come to a road that has no continuization. You will come to a dead end of your good works. You will come to a bridge out by your religion. You will not be able to access God the Father by what you believe will get you to heaven. It is not what man believes. It is not the ideas of man and his great thinking. When it comes to salvation, God has never asked man their opinion. God has never sought out a sinner and say, well, how do you want to get to me? And when it comes to salvation of God, it has already been merited by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The Bible says, going all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and he was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures that is the only means you have to get to heaven you see jesus christ is not only god but he's also 100 percent human not only is he God and 100% human, he is 100% sinless. What we are not. What man is not, Jesus Christ was. About 2,000 years ago. God manifested in the flesh. And that your salvation, your effort, to get to God is only by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no room in the afterlife for religion. Religion is vain compared to the finished work of Jesus Christ. God in his love has sent to us the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. 
There is no cleansing of our sin except by the cleansing of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And without the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, you are not safe. You will not accomplish that feat to get to heaven when you die without Jesus Christ. You will die in your sins. You will fall short of the glory of God. And that glory of God is Jesus Christ alone. And the fact is that you are relying on something other than Jesus. You are not safe. You have no hope. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. There is no hope in the Pope. He can't even save himself. You need God manifested in the flesh, sinless, born of the tribe of Judah, of a virgin, sent by God that was born to die upon Calvary's cross and to be beaten for our iniquities, to be whipped, to be chastised because we are the sinners. And that it pleased God that brutality upon Jesus Christ that we might be saved. And there is no other salvation. There is no other means of heaven outside of Jesus Christ. And you are lost. And you are on your way to hell without Jesus Christ, with Baptist, with Catholic, with science, with atheism, you will burn in hell without Jesus Christ. And God doesn't care what you feel. God doesn't care how you think. And God doesn't care that you are offended. For Jesus saves. Even such a fool as that, Jesus is able to save. And Jesus is able to save your soul. And he can save your soul today. You are not guaranteed a tomorrow. You're not even a guarantee that this morning will finish out. It's a point unto men once to die. But after this, the judgment. You will die, and if you choose, it's your choice. If you choose to die without Jesus Christ, it is your choice, and not God's choice that you enter into the gates of hell for all eternity. Why do you got to open your mouth for? For Jesus saves, and only Jesus saves. For people who have no hope, without Jesus Christ, you're just a troublemaker. Go home. See you there. Salvation rests upon Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. One day, death will come knocking on your door. The wages of sin is death. Oh, whatever color, whatever sex, whatever age, all are going to face the penalty of sin, which is death. But the Bible says few have trusted in that gift of God, in that love of God, which is Jesus Christ. 
And yet the Bible says that many will go the broad way that leads to destruction. And upon that broad way that leads to hell and the lake of fire is religion, is science, education, selfism. Anything but Jesus is the broad way. And yet the Bible says that Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life is the narrow gate. And that narrow gate can be only entered by you and you alone. By your faith and belief on what Jesus has done. For only Jesus saved. Marie, I can't save you. The words of Maria was, whatever my son saith, do it. Open your Bible and read. Have you not read the scriptures, what Jesus said? And the scriptures say, if you were to read them, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The accomplishment to get to a place called heaven. The merits thereof is in Jesus. And only in Jesus. Upon the finished work of, the, of Calvary's cross. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And that was well pleasing in the eyes of God the Father. In that God was pleased in the offering of sin. There is no other pleasing God for, for the sacrifice of sin. And many will find out too late. But Lord, didn't I do this? Lord, didn't I do that? And yet Jesus will say, depart from me that work iniquity. I never knew you. God does not know you in your religious deeds. God does not recognize you being a good gooper. He recognizes what you do as an act of iniquity. And if you die in your act of iniquity, that is not going to save your soul. It only adds to your sins. If you continue to do what God doesn't want you to do for salvation, you are not safe. And the only means for God to be, have you be, be saved is the finished work of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. The password, the key, the entrance to God is the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And them words are the words of Jesus Christ. It is something that you cannot ignore. It is something that, oh, in 45 minutes he's going to leave. It is not something, oh, just grab on to your idols and we'll be safe. 
It is not, I'm a Christian, and you don't even know what a Christian is. Because you are not a Christian if you have not put your faith and trust with your heart on the finished work of Jesus. And if you proclaim to be a Christian outside of Jesus Christ, you are an anti-Christian. And God does not approve of anti-Christian. Because the true Christian is one that has put his faith and trust in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. An anti-Christian will look to the church. An anti-Christian will look to means of works. An anti-Christian will check his wallet an anti-Christian will believe in anything but Jesus Christ. Why don't you go in front of the synagogue? An anti-Christian. It is one that names Christianity and yet does not know the source and the foundation of Jesus Christ. There is no other means than the means to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Why is there such a hornet's nest buzzing about when we preach Jesus? Because the Bible said there would be mockers There'll be scorners at the name and the preaching of Jesus Christ. He is despised and rejected of men. And even Daytona Beach 2018. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. There is no healing. There is no washing outside the one that God bruised, the one that God chastised, and that one was Jesus Christ. His beloved son. No religion has suffered that you might be saved. No pastor, pastorette, or rabbi, or priest has been put to the torture that you may be saved. You can do whatever you want to do to be healthy. And if you are to die in your sins, you'll be condemned. And you'll be in torments forever.
You can, and you have the liberty to believe whatever you want to believe. And yet the Bible says that your faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ is accepted by God for salvation. And if your faith outside of God, you will not be accepted by God. If you do not want to believe on Jesus to be saved, and never have the attention, eat, drink, be merry, listen to your music, because you will die and go to hell and be tormented forever. But you have been forewarned by the words of the Bible. My advice and my counsel for you is to believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. And yet the Bible says if you will not, the Bible says if you have not believed on Jesus Christ, you are a fool. And fools do not go to heaven. Anybody who rejects Jesus Christ in the church age is not going to heaven. No matter what you do or where you go. Without Jesus Christ, you have no hope to be in God's presence. And again, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And you're going to have the nerve to stand outside John 14, 6, and you will have the nerve, I believe Matthew 7, to stand before Jesus and say, Jesus, look at my 1040 contributions. Depart from me with your 1040, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. But Lord, look at my position in XYZ Church. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. But Lord, how good I am. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You know, it is one thing for someone to tell you to go to hell. Imagine God telling you to go to hell. And without Jesus Christ, that's exactly what God's going to do. He's going to tell you to go to hell. And then he's going to tell you to go jump in the lake of fire. That's scripture. Matthew 7, Revelation 20. And when God tells you to go to hell, it's not a laughing matter. It is not something to debate. You cannot debate God telling you to go to hell. But God, I got religion. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Religion is a work of iniquity. Why? Because Jesus Christ has already done before God, by God, 
what you need to do to be saved. It's already been done by Jesus Christ. Upon the cross of Jesus, one of the seven last words of Jesus was, it is finished. You can't add anything to God's salvation plan. When Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, said, it is finished. It's done. You do not step into the kitchen of salvation and start adding ingredients to salvation. You spoil the salvation of God. And if your ingredient is not the blood of Jesus Christ for salvation, you are not saved. If you have not been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, you are not going to heaven. You are lost. And you are without hope. Because you have not believed on Jesus Christ. The righteous. The righteousness of God. Religion is vain in the eyes of God. And Jesus will call it iniquity. You can't get to heaven by iniquity. You sure cannot get to heaven by rejecting the God that's offering and able to give you heaven. You cannot say I reject Jesus and yet I'm going to go to heaven. It's impossible. Because Jesus is the only means to heaven. God has given no other person the authority and the sponsorship of salvation except to Jesus Christ. Outside of Jesus Christ, all men have sinned, including your pastor, including Mary, including your Pope, and boy has he sinned, and your priest. You're going to rely on a pedophile to get you into heaven? Really? Is that not iniquity itself? You're going to rely on a man in a suit to get you to heaven? And you probably don't even know what that guy does outside the pulpit in the church house. And yet the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the good and the evil. I can tell you what Jesus Christ did every second of his life. He did no sin. With the twelve, with the multitude, praying on the mountain, wherever he went, he did no sin. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. If you die in religion, 
you will go to hell. If you die in the finished work of Jesus Christ, you will be absent from the body and present with the Lord. If you have anything but the finished work of Jesus Christ, Matthew 7 says that Jesus himself will call that work iniquity. To you that worketh iniquity, depart from me. I never knew you. Imagine the great loving God that just loves everybody telling you to your face, I don't know you. And if you are not known by God, you will hear, depart from me ye that work iniquity. And you are not going to heaven. You will not go to heaven. You will go to hell. Because you have not put your faith and your trust and your belief in the finished work of Jesus Christ. You see, life without Jesus is hell. After you die. Your life is not hell because you can get water. You can get music. You can get something to eat. You can chuckle in this miserable world. But food, drink, and merriness is not to be found in hell. That's why this place ain't hell. I'll tell you another reason why this place ain't hell. There are Bible-believing, born-again Christians living on this earth. And born-again, Bible-believing Christians don't go to hell. This ain't hell. So when you come up to us and you tell a Born again Christian. This is hell. You're defying the Bible. Because I'm not going to hell. And never will go to hell. Why? Because of Jesus Christ, the blessing. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Which took away my sin. And is able to take away your sin. Salvation in the Bible, not a constitution, in the Bible, is that Jesus saved, and only Jesus saved. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died, according to the scriptures. Churches leave that out. He was buried. And he rose again. According to the scriptures. Churches leave that out. Salvation is not cash, check, or money order. It's the precious blood of the Lamb of God without spot. Without sin. No blood of Jesus, no entrance into heaven. It's that simple. There is no salvation outside the salvation in the work of Jesus Christ alone.
that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. No man cometh unto the Father except through me. Yep. Not our mother who art in heaven. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Yeah. He had a son, not a daughter. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah, they're all confused today. Satan's got them believing everything but the truth.